There's a cat. There's another cat. No one knows your story. You just showed up one day from my grandpa's car. Isn't that right? Isn't that right, buddy? Sniffy, sniffy. Hyperactive kitty cat. Hey. Oh! You're good? You're good? Hello, I got 95. And... We're going to make food. But of course, before all of this... Well, you've already seen it. Cats. Mac and cheese. Cheetos. You know what time it is. Time to burn my butthole! Bread. Innocent bystander. <coughs> Duckies. Butter. Unfortunately, no milk. Because I apparently live in a non normal milk drinking household. <coughs> Do you want to be a part of mouth burning? Do you want to be a part of mouth burning? It's where I eat a product that burns your mouth. You're gonna eat hot coals. Going to eat hot Cheetos, gonna, mac gonna, and cheese. You're gonna eat rocks on fire. Well, I mean, it could be rocks on fire. He's gonna eat stuff that's gonna hurt his bottle. Yes. It could potentially. But all. It could potentially. But all. Wash your hands. Okay, hands washed. Now we're going to flashbang it. Yeah. Change of plans, I forgot the pan I was going to use. Actually in the sink, this one's too small. Probably big enough to wear for a hat. But, yes, it is too small. For one box of macaroni and cheese? Yes, for a box of macaroni and cheese. Are you still recording? But I'm being told not too small, so I guess I'm going to prove them wrong. First step. Agua. Next step. That's the little voice behind the camera. Next step. Create life. And now we wait for 35 years for this to boil. I check 95 with my Tucky Crisps video. Obviously. Design the can looks like a bag of donkeys. Oh, these look very, very dangerous to eat. Here we go. I like donkeys. I like Pringles. Let's see how this goes. Holy shit. It's like perfect because sometimes when you get the corn rolls of the chips of these things, sometimes you get bags that have barely any um, dust on them. These on the other hand are laid out perfectly and you can set your tongue on the red part and get all the flavor you want <coughs> with the crunch of the Pringle. Crisp. I'm also sliding on my kitchen floor. But, um, yeah, those are dangerously good, but also dangerously can be hot. Um, I would put those at the same level as these babies. The Hot Cheetos, will I buy buying these? Will I be buying these again? Yes, of course. Now, 
My mouth is very hot. I am not sponsored by Brahms. I just went to Brahms. Trying to cool it with some nice, not real milk. So I would rate this snack on a five scale. I would say four and a half. Not super hot, but as they say on the can, face the intensity as you go. As I am slowly, slowly roasting my arm over this um, gas stove. Would the innocent bystander like to try a, a talkie crisp? Crisp? Yeah, talkie crisp. Can they even see me? It's so dark in here. Yeah, they can see you. I don't think they can see me. Here. No, I don't think they... Now they can see you. I don't think they can see me. You've had talkie before. What do you think of the Toski Crisp? Ho 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 It's pretty good. It's, do you like it? I would argue and say, hey, you're blinding the viewers. It's too good for you. Can't see it. I would argue it's that. It's too good for you. I would argue that it's uh, possibly. It's scary good. It's possibly better than the original Takis, which I know would offend a lot of Taki original lovers. My fingers aren't as dirty. Yeah. I think each That's crisp. That's about the only plus. I think each crisp has like an even amount as... layer of like Taki dust on it. It is true. When you eat Takis, you like. You're playing roulette, like you're either, oh, yeah. either getting a like You're gonna breathe it. Don't breathe when you eat a Taki, or you won't breathe no more. <laughs> like <coughs> On a scale of one to five, because I do a five scale when it comes to the food. I had like a weird shape. I don't know if it was the crisp or what, but I kind of liked it. Because Takis are like, they're the weird, weird shape when you bite them, they like, they go. Yeah, they're corn chips. Yeah, up. versus that like. The eatability was so nice. Mm -hmm. It was so good. Gabagoo. It made you go Italian. Gabagoo. Gabagoo. That's a gabagoo. Yeah, four, 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 four and a half. I take it four and a half. Ah, yes, four and a half for the Taki Crisp. I would like another one though. Another one. Another one. Yes. Another one. Another one. Another one. So hopefully you enjoy this Taki part of the uh, lemon hot Cheeto mac and cheese. Um, go buy them. I'm purposely being awkward because funny. Now on to the hot cheetos. Okay, step one. Um, pour noodles into water. Now stir for seven minutes. Getting that awesome stirring action now. <laughs> stir it up. Like it's the American melting pot. I don't want to be a part of that melting pot. Although I am. Time to strain it! Oh, two tablespoons of butter or margarine or lard. Extreme close up on toast. The Cheeto dust commence. Oh. Whoa. Yes. Oh. Why would you sniff it? <laughs> this mac and cheese looks like it's going to turn my insides red. Now for the final ingredient. Because you can't have Why don't you do hot Cheetos without the hot Cheetos. Red onions with the head of like blueberries. Red onion preferably. There you go. Oh, I used the red onion. You have to have a big one. Oh. And now it's time to consume this product that I've actually ate before but never did a review of it, so I'm going to remember my pain. that this mac and cheese decides to strip all of the hot 
powdered shit off the hot Cheetos and dump it on pasta. They really do go... <sighs> Hard? Well, they literally, it's literally a pack of hot Cheeto dust on mac and cheese, and it turns the mac and cheese like blood red. And the fact that I added hot Cheetos to it, which has been recommended on the back of the box, is probably going to make it even more hot. Mm. It is good though, but it will make my sinuses drain. Oh my god. Intensity on the go, guys! Intensity on the go. Aren't Cheetos usually on the go? It's a good idea and a bad idea at the same time. Yeah. Um, well, I feel like my tongue's on fire. Or because it is? That was cool. <laughs> yes, that is onion. <laughs> there you go. <gasps> onion. I don't know if there's a Cheeto on there or not, but... Nope. Mmm. 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 <laughs> That's some good stuff. This is definitely harder than the hot cheetos itself. Brought to you by Batman. Incorporated. Um, <laughs> not a sponsor. It's bad enough that half a bowl of this will make my nose feel like it's bleeding, but it's actually it's not. It's bad enough? So, <laughs> on a taste good scale, it does get a 5 out of 5, in my opinion. On a hot scale, it breaks it. So right now, this is the hot, hottest product that I've tried on my hot scale. It's even hotter than the loaded nacho Pringle bullshit. I guess on that note, I'm just going to sign out and finish this bowl in pain. So, um, hopefully you enjoyed my insanity and my burningness of my mouth. This is Mike Check 25 signing my wheel with hot Cheetos. This stuff is very difficult to eat. <coughs> it's making my tongue red. Joker's talking money. I'm in here dying of heat. Hopefully I can survive this. My insides are going to explode.